of Vice President was uh, we had Jay Schomburg from Online Resources came in and he digitized his head. And then he made some tool paths for it. He loaded it on the machine and cut it. And this program cuts in about uh, the finished pass from the bottom to the top will cut in about an, uh, two and a half hours or so. A little less than three hours. The program's uh, very short. It's about 115,000 blocks. And uh, that's a relatively short program to do all that type of cutting because this control has onboard linearization. And what that means is it can interpolate that tooltip inside relative to the coordinate system that's fixed to the top of that head. So even though everything's moving, it, the machine's keeping everything nicely coordinated for you. If it didn't have that linearization, this program would be over a million blocks long. So it, the control's doing a lot of powerful processing to be able to cut something like this. And if you think about it, this head has a lot of complex, you know, the face, the head, have a lot of complex surfaces that intersect with each other at uh, complex angles, and yet the machine can create a nice smooth surface out of it and interpolate and move smoothly and quickly. Now that's a lot of processing power in there. What's the material? That's a red shape. It's basically just like a, a testing board type program or, or uh, material. And it's commonly used for testing out programs, but it's also used, you know, for people who, who uh, make simple prototype parts and stuff like this. So it's not metal? It's not metal. We intend at some point to put some metal on the machine and cut it. We just didn't get a chance here today. Now, if he had hair, would it be? He had some hair. <laughs> and it wasn't entirely, you know, gone. Uh, basically, with hair, it's at such a fine resolution, the digitization process, that it'll see right past the hair. So, hair may look thick, but it's not, really. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Studying the bumps on people's heads. Okay, so you digitize it, and then somehow the digits go into the program. Okay, basically what happens is this. In your CAM software, there's a lot of points that the tool is going to, uh, or the CAM software will generate along a pass of the tool moving about the part. And those points include an XYZ point relative to your coordinate system at the top of this head, right? So there's a lot of XYZ points going around this coordinate system. And then the tool has an orientation of some sort for that point. That orientation is called a tool vector. It has an X, a Y, and a Z component. And that is inputted for each point. So each block in this program has an XYZ and an IJK, the XYZ being the tool tip, the IJK being the tool vector direction. Then the control takes that and it calculates how do I need to rotate this part, to rotate this tool, and then where, where did that point go on the part, where did the tool tip go, and how to bring them together. And then from there, it has to do that for the next position, and interpolate in between at the frequency it interpolates so that everything is nicely accurate. Now, we've speculated that one of these days, probably pretty soon, you're going to use this technology to make an orthotic for uh, every new shoe that's sold. That's right. As a matter of fact, I just reviewed a proposal of some professors in Canada who are working on a digitization system and a way to automatically program at a, uh, that type of thing. Basically, shoe lasts is what we're talking about. And that's for, you know, medical uh, custom-made shoes for people who have, say, uh, diabetes and this sort of thing that need, may need this. And uh, hopefully that proposal goes through. But, yes, many people are thinking about that. That's true. Yeah, well, I understand um, Nike is already experimenting out at their uh, Beaverton store okay. with this kind of software uh, to give uh, the, every new customer would... Uh, they de digitize their feet, right. so every new pair of shoes that they bought would have a custom insole. Right, right. I think that's a, a similar concept. In this case, I think what they're going for is more of a complete custom shoe, not just an insole system for it, and uh, also a little more complex in balancing the loads on the foot and this sort of thing, too.